I gained from it means like when you feel like you, you can't focus on anything around you. Like for example, when you're reading, like I have lots of engagement when I'm reading. So when people are making lots of noise around me, I, can't, I don't even focus about them. Like I just focus on my book and it feels like they're not even there. You don't want to stop doing it or um, you lose track of time, I guess. Uh, rot or like minerals and things like that. Um, when, like if you're like reading a really good book or not like stop reading because the book is so good. Students who are having a great time in their classrooms, it's not just fun, they, that's true engagement. When students have the opportunities to interact in a personal way with what they're learning, and it's that excitement, it's not the compliance, it's not the sitting and looking and listening, it's actually them doing and engaging with the work that they're presented. From a research standpoint, reapplication and retention of knowledge is really what happens when students are more engaged. So the more we can get students engaged, the more likely they are to retain and reapply knowledge uh, at a later time. Ignite Engagement is a program that, in short, is designed to help students become more engaged, engaged as often as we can in their classrooms. There are two layers of it now. The program originally started with Ellen Oliver Keene's work around engagement and knowing that you need to have a sense of belonging for students in order to truly be engaged. Dr. Goldie Muhammad's work for Cultivating Genius was just a natural tie to bring in in the last few years of the work. So part of learning about the definition of engagement and helping students define it and understand it so they can take ownership of whether or not they are engaged, uh, four pillars are used to help students understand engagement. The four pillars are emotional resonance, perspective bending, the aesthetic world, and intellectual urgency. So as students come to understand what those four pillars are and how those are defined, they're able to identify when they're engaged, why they're engaged, how it's happening for them, and learn a little bit about being metacognitive in their engagement, oh, knowing when they're engaged, helping themselves to re-engage, to bring a lot more student agency for them as well. One of the things I've seen with the kids is just more awareness of what engages them, when they are fully engaged, when they're not, and also having that conversation with kids. I think oftentimes we think we're supposed to do all the work and engage them, and in reality, what I am learning through this program is that um, kids can be in charge of their own engagement and they can begin to monitor and know when they're engaged and when they're not so engaged. And I think that what I've seen with the kids is um, just greater conversation about recognizing when they're just lost in something and then helping them to define why am I lost in this because this is something I'm passionate about. I appreciate most meeting our kids with, with what they need to take their learning to the next level. Um, you know, we can, we, we have a lot of highly skilled teachers and we can deliver curriculum and, and we can um, help our students learn, but our, our goal was really to go from good to great. And in order to go from good to great, we needed to step up our game as far as really understanding what our students need to become, once again, more authentic, authentic learners. And, and speaking to engagement, you know, it's not just that they're sitting there and, and following along with what the teacher's doing and, and following the rules and writing down what the teacher's telling them to write down. We want to develop creative thinkers. Um, we want to uh, develop s students as they're showing intellectual urgency to really bring that out in all that they're doing um, and taking advantage of their passions and their interests uh, to help them take their learning to the next level so that we can get the best results from our kids that, that we can. We know that professional development and isolation does not work well. So when the program was designed, that was with that in mind. So there are many layers to the program that help support the members, whether they're a cohort member or in a lab school, bring this work to life for our students. I have been blessed with the opportunity to be involved with the cohort since its beginning. So for four years, I've been in it. And every single year, um, we've added another um, classroom teacher to this work um, in the district I come from. And um, so now I'm supporting four teachers from um, building in our work. Um, 
and it's just so exciting not only to see this work happen in classrooms for those students but the surprising byproduct of it or the excitement for me is seeing the teachers I'm supporting reignite their own passions for teaching and when our teachers are the best versions of themselves they're the best for their students and so their excitement is contagious and you can see that and feel that in their classrooms so it exponentially impacts our students in such a positive way. I have the privilege to be a part of Ignite Engagement for the second year in a row and it has been very exciting. I am newer to the profession um, this is my fourth fourth year teaching. My first year was with COVID, and if I could get through that, um, I think I can get through anything, hopefully. Um, but this, this cohort and this program has been very inspiring to be a part of. Um, I feel like I entered education in a time of uncertainty with the pandemic, as well as just a cultural shift of what teaching really is. Um, seeing a lot of teacher burnout, especially with younger teachers, and I'm just really glad that I'm able to have a support system to celebrate the successes of what's happening in the classroom and also to have that support system of this isn't working, we need to change something. It's also really inspiring to have administration and literacy coaches and just peers and authors that are here to support you and to celebrate all those successes. When we think about what we want for our children, for our students, I would hope it's that we want to create authentic human beings who feel like they belong somewhere, that they're welcomed, that they can take ownership of themselves and become independent in their ability to learn. None of that can happen if there's not engagement. Engagement is the vessel to creating human beings who can operate to bring their own imagination to life.